Folks who cannot afford an attorney, options for legal assistance are few and far between, but a local organization is expanding its services to provide free legal advice for civil cases. Our Katherine Garcia explains. Every day at the Taylor County Courthouse, Tammy Robinson and her staff encounter someone who is searching for legal advice or help in completing legal documents. Yeah, I will tell you, probably the hardest part is some of these people have the saddest stories and your heart goes out to them and you seriously want to help them. That person is met with a small sign and a simple answer. I'd love to help these people out, but without, you know, a law degree, we can't really help them, and that's against the law. So Many people, especially those who cannot afford legal services, are sent to places such as the law library, where they can research state and U.S. law and pay for instructions to complete legal documents. And although this is a quality resource for those who are left with fewer options in a civil case, for those who don't have legal experience, where do they start? For decades, Legal Aid of Northwest Texas has been filling that gap, providing free legal advice in a wide range of civil cases to those below the poverty line. Gary Oren has practiced law for the organization for 23 years. Our motto is, is helping people to gain access to justice, Texas access to justice. Now with a grant awarded to the organization, Oren and other attorneys at Legal Aid are looking to open an additional brief services office with an additional attorney and receptionist in order to expedite cases and alleviate confusion. It's universal acceptance. Everybody thinks this will help. Legal Aid approaching the Taylor County Commissioners to request additional office space in or near the courthouse. Judge Downing Bowles says the county is working to find the perfect spot for the office. We think we've identified an area in the Plaza building that uh, might be able to uh, to be used for that purpose. It's going to require a little construction to go in there. We're going to have to put a wall up and try to subdivide one room into two rooms. So, uh, But we think we can do that uh, and uh, do it inexpensively and, and make that happen. Which will hopefully benefit everyone who steps in the courthouse. In Abilene, Catherine Garcia, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.